Well, hey guys, it's my Gardener, and today I have a very quick and super simple way to make sure you take the guesswork out of planting small seeds. A lot of times when you're planting carrots or lettuce or uh, spinach, those really tiny, tiny seeds that uh, seem to always slip through your fingers and you never know where you place the last one and uh, and you then when they all sprout, you have a ton close up and you have to go out and thin them and uh, it's just a pain in the butt. So it's a very easy way to take the guesswork out of your seed depth and your seed spacing when you're doing tiny seeds. All right, so come along with me, and this one's gonna be quick, but I know you guys are gonna love it. Basically, the materials you're gonna need is a pencil, a ruler, a 12 by 12 piece of uh, either OSB board or composite board, or pretty much anything you can find 12 by 12, let's just put it that way. Uh, and then you're going to need a 3 8 inch dowel, and you're gonna need at least 36 of them um, because uh, the board is 12 by 12, and you're gonna be spacing it out every two inches, and that equals six uh, six this way and six this way and I get you, I think you're gonna get what I, where I'm going with this um, but just stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to make it so what I have here is just a piece of scrap wood that is 12 by 12 and I actually got this wood for free if you go to your hard your local hardware store um, or an Ace Hardware or a Lowe's a lot of times they have scrap lumber and you can probably ask them if they have any uh, 12 by 12 pieces and the reason I did 12 by 12 is because square foot method a lot of people have the square foot method and they have the square foot raised beds. So 12 inches by 12 inches makes one square foot. And so you have the seed spacing here. And this is the proper seed spacing for carrots and spinach. But you can also change up the squares. For instance, if you only want, um, like I had these, I had these glued here, but they, they can come off. Let's say you, you only want them to be uh, four inches apart you can take off because these are these are two inch spacing so if you want the the pegs to be four inches make sure you so uh, this would be for like head lettuce let's say or onions or garlic if you want to plant garlic or uh, head lettuce that gets four inches across you can simply tape, take out the middle peg and I have them in two inch grids so you take out the middle peg and you have four inches and then you'd simply skip one here and put one here and then skip the next one and put it there. And so you're gonna work across and then uh, you'd, have, you'd have four inch spacings. But I'm just doing two inch spacings because it seems like carrots are uh, a pain in the butt and spinach is always a pain in the butt and lettuce is always a pain in the butt for like uh, the leaf lettuce, not the head lettuce, but the leaf lettuce. And you can do this with anything. This grid works for anything. So if uh, you wanna make multiple of these, because um, you, obviously you can't change it once you uh, once you glue these on. I am using uh, very good quality premium wood glue, which you're going to want to use because when you're when you're pressing it into the soil, you don't want these pegs to fall out. Um, but they they are very easy to fix if they do happen to fall out, which is why we're going cheap. This wood is uh, just a piece of scrap wood. I think it's just like a composite board, um, but uh, it's just whatever they had on hand. It's nothing too too uh, serious, but. Um, yeah, and then the, the wooden dowels are 3 8 inch wooden dowels, and I have them cut to one and a half inches because that is about the average spacing for your seeds, or your average depth for your seeds, about one to one and a half inches. So uh, I have them at, cut at one and a half inches so that you can simply press the board down, wiggle it around, make the holes, lift it out, and then you have yourself a very simple way to plant your seeds in a square foot method. So, was I lying when I said it was that easy? I'm telling you what, it's just these simple little things that really help you out in the garden and I know for a fact that I will be using this every single day for multiple sizes. I'm gonna make up a couple more uh, in different sizes as well. I'm gonna do a six inch, a four inch, and a two inch. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, this super quick, simple tip. And if you guys liked it, remember to please comment, like, share. It always helps me out to spread the word um, about these super simple tips and how to grow your food easier and better. So all right, well, I'll talk to you guys later. This is Emma Gardner. See ya. Bye.